Hi there, welcome to this video. We're going to continue on our data engineering series by looking on how we can integrate Microsoft Fabric with Microsoft Azure. So, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use Fabric Data Pipeline to move all tables in on prems SQL Server database to Azure SQL database. We'll be looking on how we can use the lookup for each and copy data activities in the Fabric Data Pipeline to orchestrate the data movement. Let's get started. Got this blank workspace GCP shortcut, and I'm going to come to my SQL Server Management Studio. In the SSMS, I've got this sales database and with two tables, employees and transactions. So we're going to ingest the two tables into our Azure SQL database. So I'm going to come to my SQL database, which is called Good Layer, in the portal.azure.com. And of course, I've got this Abiola David SQL Server. Let's say we can begin this data orchestration. I'm going to come to the Fabric portal, and then I can create a data pipeline. I'm going to call this one SQL to Azure SQL Data Transfer 101 and then click Create. In the Build a Data Pipeline to Organize and Move Your Data, I want to insert a pipeline activity. So we want to use the lookup for. Now, the lookup basically allows us to retrieve the metadata about the table, such as the name of table and the column information. So for this, I can see in the canvas. Now I can give this a meaningful name. Let's just call it um, Sales Data Transfer. And then I can come to the settings. Now in the settings, I'm going to uncheck first row only and then click on this drop down for the connection. Now for the connection, we will connect to our SQL Server on preps. So click on the more option at the bottom. And then I can search for the SQL Server. So I can see the SQL Server database. Click on that. We need the server name and the database name. I'm going to come to the SSMS and I can see my server name, Abiola David. So I'm going to go ahead and type that in. So Abiola David 01. And then I can type in the name of the database. Now, the name of the database or this database is sales. So I'm going to go on and type in sales. And then I am going to show us how we can create connections successfully. Click on this and I want to choose new connection. Now, it is important you have the data gateway installed on your laptop. So I'm going to choose my own data gateway named Cornerstone Solutions. And then for the authentication kind, I'm going to use the basic. And then I'm going to provide my SQL Server connection details, which is the username SA. And I'm going to type my password, which is already in there and then click on connect. Okay, that's sorted. I can click on test connection to establish connection. So this should give us connection successful. Okay, brilliant connection successful. We are actually not getting a single table. We are getting multiple tables. So for the use query, I'm going to go ahead and use query. So I'm going to come back to the SSMS and I've got this select name from sys table. Basically, it's going to give me the names of the tables in the sales database. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this query and then I can come back here and paste in the query box. So as soon as I paste that, I can go on and preview the data. So click on preview. Brilliant. So we can see the two tables, employee records and transactions. So I can close this panel for now. So we are done with the lookup. Now the next is we need the for each activity, which allows us to iterate over the list of tables and perform data movement. So I can go on and click on these activities and then I can search for for each. So I'm going to click on this for each and then we have the for each. So I'm going to go ahead and create a connection on success. Just connect this and then we have this. Now I'm going to click on the for each and then we can give this a meaningful name also. But I'm going to go with the for each name. I want to come to the settings. Now in the settings, we can go on and specify the items. So for the item, I'm going to click on add dynamic content. So in the dynamic content, I'm going to go on and specify the name of my lookup, which is sales data transfer. So click on that. We have sales data transfer, comma, dot value. So I want to get all the values from the lookup. So click OK. So we're going to see this in the item. That's sorted. We can go on and use the copy data activity. So I'm going to click on this icon 
I can choose the copy data and it's going to automatically you know create that for us so i can double click and then i can specify the name and then the source destination and so on so i want to come to the source now in the source i want to click for the connection drop down i want to choose the source which is the sql server again so click on that and then want to choose sql server database again we need to provide the server name the database and so on so i'm going to type in the server name my Abiola D01 and then the name of the database is sales so I can click on connect okay brilliant so again I can test the connection whether this is working or not amazing so we have the connection successful now in this case I can see we have the use query table query stop procedure and so on and so forth so when I click on this of course I'm going to see all the three or the two tables so I'm going to click on that so we don't want to import only one but we want to get all the table so I'm going to Go ahead and click outside so click on enter manually now for this i'm going to specify dbo as the schema name and then for the table name i want to add a dynamic content click on that and then i can specify under for each iterator i'm going to choose the for each one and then so i'm going to say at item and then i can get all the names of the iterator name so i'm going to type in name just click ok for the destination, we want to point to the Azure SQL database. So for the connection, click on the drop down and I can set for the Azure. So click on this and then I'm going to type in Azure SQL and I can see the database. Click on that. So I need my you know, server name and the database name. So I'm going to show you quickly. So um, this is my server name. So let me cancel this. So let me come to the overview and then close this. So I want to copy my server name, copy that, and I want to come back here and control V to paste. So for the name of the database, this is going to be gold layer. So I'm going to type the gold layer as the database name, and this automatically you know capture it for me. Again, I want to show you how things is going. So again, we need to get the data gateway which is on premise for me and then for my authentication kind i'm going to use basic so i need the username and the password that is associated with my azure sql database so i'm going to come in quickly so uh, let me show you this is my server admin which is the same thing as my username so i'm going to go on and type that in super so for the username super underscore user and then for the password i'm going to use the same password i used previously and then click connect brilliant so this establishes connection for the destination so i can test to be sure whether this is working fine or not connection successful which is cool so again we have the table option so i'm going to go ahead and choose auto create table now when i choose auto create table of course it's not going to actually create any table automatically so i need to find a way to create that table so i'm going to come to the table option and i'm going to give this for the schema name dbo and then for the table name i'm going to use the dynamic content and then i want to get the for each iterator and i want to get the names here so dot name and then click ok so this is exactly what we need to do so we have the lookup and then we have the for each iterator and then we have the copy data activity so i can go on and check for the mapping this is not required and then for the settings this is not required so basically we need the source specified and then destination so we can go on and validate to check whether this there's an error or not so we're going to see pipeline has been validated and i can click on close so i can go on and run or execute this uh, pipeline so click on save and run so this is going to be saved and then it's going to start running and then in a couple of maybe two or three minutes we're going to see the final results so we can see run succeeded which is super amazing now we can go on and check in the azure sql database so i'm going to come here and i'm going to go on and refresh all right so as soon as i refresh i can come to the query editor and then i can sign it into my sql azure sql so click on that and when i click on this expand definitely we have the two tables employee records and transaction so i can go on and query the table so let's just say select um star from transaction and i can go on and run and i'm going to see the result of the 
query there we go so we have the query working this is basically how we can use the microsoft fabric data pipeline to orchestrate data movement of all tables in on-prems sql server to azure sql database i hope you enjoyed this video if you do like share with your friends comments thank you for watching bye for now